following program is furnished by Central Valley Sports Report. What a great Halloween weekend. I know. Halloween's my favorite weekend by far. I know. I love Halloween. What did you do this weekend? I Well, you could see by the look of it, it was pretty interesting. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, That's Camille, hilarious. I don't know what you're laughing at. Look at you. Yeah, enough said. Well, anyway, we have a great show coming up for you today. That's right. We got Mason Hughes from CVC and another football star in the Central Valley, J.J. Wills from Clovis High. We also have Amanda Lopez from Sierra High School. She's here to talk volleyball, and we're also here to talk a whole lot more on the CVSR show that starts right, right now. now. What's up, Central Valley? Welcome to the CVSR Show. I'm Jason Phillips. With me in studio today from CVC, head coach Mason Hughes. Mason, how are you doing today, man? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Thanks for joining with us. So first off, I want to get to a little bit about your season, and then we'll, we got much more to talk about. So CVC, uh, last year was kind of the turning point. Your first four years, you amassed 12 wins. Yeah. If you guys went out, you might get that this year. But yet last year, eight wins. What was the turnaround? that you've, you've gotten this program off to a, a better start now? I think it was just it was the kids. You know, mm -hmm. It was a group of kids who uh, had been winners since Pop Warner, and um, they just you know, really work hard all, all season and, and wanted to, be, uh, to make a difference, right. you know, and, uh, and they did. You know, and they've, it was cool the other night a bunch of the guys were at our game, and, uh -huh. you know, and they, can, they can see what the, you know, what the foundation that they laid, and uh, it's really cool to see. So I, I think it was just the kids. Now you got a stud running back, McIntyre Garbani. Kid broke out last year, doing it for you again this year. But this team is more than just Mac. I mean, you got other guys on this team: Colton Develd, Jake Dehan, and some couple other guys. I mean, I mean, this is a is this a great senior class you have over there? Yeah, I think that would be a great way to define it. They're a great senior class, big guys, uh, really strong kids, work hard, um, and then they're good football players. Mm -hmm. And so you you put the weight room with good athletes, it usually turns out pretty good. Absolutely. I mean, we all kind of knew you were. You guys had some guys coming back, pieces coming back. We knew you'd be good. Week one, big win. But I think week two was against Bakersfield Christian, 49-19. I think put everyone in the Valley on notice. CVC's here has arrived. Was that game any different for the team with that little bit of rivalry and how big that game was for, for the kids? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, last year we, we beat them the first game of the year, and then uh -huh. they went on and did had the season that they had. Um, but to, to do it after their season, you know, to, to, to handle that game the way we did, I think that really – allowed this group of kids to know that, you know, we, we can do something special too. Right. And, uh, you know, for everybody else, I mean, when you beat a team that is as good as them, um, you know, I mean, it lets everybody else know that you're probably pretty good too. So Right. And so the next very week, you guys beat Lindsay 51-6. to At this point, you're 3-0, and and you're throttling teams. And you told the Visalia Times Delta, we need to get better. <laughs> Did you guys get better? Um I think so. I mean, it was there room to get better. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the things that our kids, you know, and all kids, you know, they they look at the scoreboard, mm -hmm. and if you know a score like that, they get a big fat head, you know. Right. And I think one of the things our kids need to understand is everybody's out there doing the same thing they're doing, working hard. Uh -huh. And if you want to be a champion, then you have to get better. I mean, if you if you're the best you can be in week three, you're probably not going to win many more games after that. Right. And you guys, you know. Great season your guys are having. I mean, you finally beat Kingsburg for the yeah. first time, and you live in Kingsburg, yeah. and you guys were the team of the week, and were invite Kingsburg's Carl's Jr. How was that? Were guys, was, people around town giving you a, the, giving you the eyeball? I think they all went to sleep, but that was the best uh, <laughs> bacon western cheeseburger I've ever had. So yeah, that was that was awesome. Nice. Now you uh, in the Central Sequoia League, you got you're in a tough predicament at CVC. I mean, you got Selma and Exeter, and you guys yourselves are D4 Kingsburg and Dinuba, who are double-digit win teams every year, mm -hmm. are, are D2. And you guys are, you know, it's, it's so tough for your guys for being a private school, low enrollment, to beat those teams. I think you're a Coach of the Year candidate, but you're not even going to win your league probably, barring a miracle. I mean, do you, do you have any complaints about that? Or do you just take it as is and go with it? No, I really can't complain. I mean, I've got kids who work really hard. Um, like you said, 260 kids. Uh, 30 of those kids play football. And uh, about half the boys in the school 
are in the football program. Right. And so, you know, I don't know if any other school can claim that, you know. And so um, I can't complain. I got good players, and they work really hard. And, you know, there's only 11 on the field, you right. know. And so, you know, if a Dinuba or a Kingsburg has 60, they all can't play, you know. And so our kids really believe that. And, you know, if our, our, our best 11 are as good as the other team's best 11, I think we got a good shot. So um, there's other things that make it more difficult, you know, because our kids are – they're doing a lot, and they're 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 uh, stretched thin, you know, because they're active in a lot of stuff. But it also means that you got kids who are those types of kids who are active in a lot of stuff. Right. You know, those are those are usually winners. Those right. are usually champion type kids, and so we got a lot of those kids. And so I, I'm blessed. I mean, I got I, I I don't think I could ask for anything more. Right. And you were telling me off camera. I mean, you guys you guys have these kids in your program for 14 years. I mean, this senior class that's going to grow out and graduate. 14 years they've been on the CVC campus. Is that right? Yeah, a lot of them. A lot of them, yeah, and so you know they know the they know the Cavalier way, you know, and and there, there's a lot of uh, pride in in the school and uh, just in their community, and so you know I think that helps. Yeah, and and uh, so 33 man roster, I think you got you guys yeah. have. So a lot of these kids play two ways. So I mean that outstanding job they do out there. Yeah, you know, surprisingly, we don't have a lot of guys that play two ways. Really? I think that's why we're pretty good. You know, you you have a 33 man roster, and when you've got, you know, I mean almost 33 really good players, right. you know, that, that helps. And I think we've only got about four guys that go, you know, both ways the whole game. And, uh, you know, it, it actually makes it hard on a coach. You know, we've got really good players standing on the sidelines only getting maybe 10, 15 plays a game, and um, they'd be starters at a lot of the schools we play. And, and in terms of recruiting, I, I want to get to this now. Um, CVC, uh, you know, like you said, a lot of the kids, great players standing on the sidelines that may not get recruited. Um, what do you tell your team as far as playing at the next level about kids trying to take their own ownership getting to college? You know, what we do is we, I just I have a list, and I ask the kids, you know, what, who, who's interested? You know, from the time they're freshmen, I just keep, keep asking them every year. And, uh, that's by the, and we have a process. So when they're freshmen, they have to do certain things, make sure their grades are in line, and, and start going to those camps that they can kind of highlight themselves. And, and each year, the process changes a little bit. And... Um, you know, by the time they're juniors, if, if, if they're at the level that they can play at the next level, which, you know, if you can start for us, I think you can. Right. Um, then, you know, we start sending film out. Um, and, and I think the big thing is kids being proactive. That right. They got to do it, you know, especially with social media today. Um, you know, I don't, I mean, I, I tell my kids, get on Twitter and tell, <laughs> get friends with coaches and get on Facebook and become friends with coaches and send your stuff to them and, and do all the things on HODL that you need to do. Uh -huh. um, you hear that, kids? <laughs> take, take ownership of your recruiting. That's our message. Take yeah. control of your recruiting. That's the Cavalier way. Mason Hughes, thank you so yeah, much, man. You. You're doing a great job out thank there you. at CVC. Folks, stick around. We've got plenty more on the show coming up here on the CVSR show. We'll be right back. Wireless. We fix phones and tablets. Open every day on Ashland between 41 and Fresno. We're both tired from working all day, but we have to deal with this. Another bad report card? Doesn't he understand? We want him to do well in school, so he can have opportunities we never had. He needs help. We help him with his homework when we can. What more can we do? We need to call Tutoring Club. Tutoring Club. Guaranteed to improve academic performance. Call now for free testing and registration. A $125 value, free. I am Cal Johnson, your friend on Unified School Trustee. We have made tremendous progress in the last number of years. And we have built Bang Powell Elementary, Gaston Middle School, we have modernized Edison, Roosevelt, Fresno High, and Sequoia Middle School. I would appreciate your vote come November the 4th. Bill Hedrick's been here since 1959. He started when he was a kid. Most places will go, our size will go through oh, 20, 30, maybe 40 salespeople a year. We might go through one or two. They know how to help customers out. If something comes in, they know where to start instead of dragging them through a big process. The sales service parts, everybody here believes that we are the right place to do business. You can tell a customer that because you do believe it. Uh, we do consider ourselves a family here at Hedrick Chevrolet and you can count on us when you need us. Find new roads.
I'm Derek Carr. You know, you're trying to get to college, make sure you check out Central Valley Sports Report. Welcome back. I'm Camille Moultrie, and I am sitting down here with Amanda Lopez, head coach of the girls volleyball team at Sierra High School. Amanda, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me here. So how's it going? How's your season going so far? Um, we're doing really well. Right now we are uh, five and one. And uh, we're, you know, we have a couple more weeks left and we're looking promising for the rest of the year. Great. So I know you guys are doing very well. And what is your team like this year? How many freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors do you have? Uh, we are, I guess you would say, a moderately young team. Um, I have one freshman this year. I have a couple sophomores, um, a handful of juniors. I have uh, seven juniors. So next year it's going to be a, a heavy team that I'll be losing. But, wow. um, uh, and then three seniors this year. So... Uh, right. This would be the least that I've lost the two years that prior I've lost uh, six or more. Oh, so. wow. So that's good. It looks like you have a great team coming up next year. So your seniors this year, do they have any plans outside of um, high school moving forward into college to play volleyball? Um, as far as playing volleyball, no. You know, I've um, uh, sat down with a couple of them. They're, they're still, you know, contemplating and thinking about it. But um, definitely they're college bound, um, all of them. You know, 4.0 students, they have great point, out, great point averages there. Um, but no, as far as volleyball, they don't have any plans yet. Well, that's good. They have good grades in the classroom. Looks like they're pretty set up to do well after high school. So what is your team like? What is the size of your team this year? Are, are you, do you have pretty, you know, tall built girls or what is that like? Um, as far as volleyball height, what a lot of people think of as far as volleyball, no, we're, we're pretty short. Um, I want to say our tallest girl, she is 5'11", wow. but I have one. Okay. <laughs> I have one of them, but when uh, six to seven girls play on the court at a time, you know, it's, um, you know, it, most of them are about five, four, five, five. So okay. it's, a, it's a pretty short team. Right. And, and like you said, most of us, you know, we think that a volleyball team should be stacked with girls that are, you know, 6'1", 6'2". What do you attribute your great season to so far with, you know, such a small team? You know, you said your tallest girl is 5'11"? Yes. Okay, so what do you attribute <laughs> your winning season to then? Um, you know, these girls have great heart, um, but they, they've put in a lot of time and a lot of effort in the weight room, building their muscles, being able to jump, you know, taller than the other six-foot opponent, you mm -hmm. know. So they, they've put a lot of hard work into that. That's good. Now tell me about some key players you have this season that are really getting it done for you on the court. Um, we have our, you know, big hitter and defensive player, um, Jordan Falk. She, uh, she has put um, a lot of balls down on the opponent's side, and she's dug up a lot of balls. Um, we have, of course, you got that middleman in there as our setter, um, Kinley Ricks. She's, uh, she's quick, she's fast, she you know, throws a lot of quick sets that, you know, it leaves basically the net open for our hitters to kind of take the court on for themselves. You know, in the Central Valley, there's so much room for these volleyball players. You know, there's so much room for growth. You can get involved in club, all of that. But a lot of them may not know who to contact, what to do. What is your advice you can give to girls that play volleyball that are watching right now as far as recruiting, what to do next season? What, what, what advice can you give? Well, you know, um, myself being, you know, coaching the club scene, I've I've slowly gotten a lot of players heading that way and uh, getting more of my players and more of the my future players to play in club. Um, but, um, you know, it's kind of hard when you don't know any about that stuff and, you know, and coaches that don't know. Um, but, you know, we it's, it's kind of cliche, but sending out flyers and things like that, you know, for, for teams, you know, so they can know about when tryouts are mm -hmm. and... Um, there's a couple key clubs that are out right now, but, um, you know, internet has always helped too as well. Okay, so you're saying these girls, you know, taking control of their recruiting, pretty much what we encourage them to do here by sending out emails, putting their names out there, um, contacting coaches. Oh, definitely, yeah. Okay. Um, you know, sending out the emails, sending highlight videos. Um, we have a parent that comes out and videotapes uh, his daughter and, of course, the rest of the game, um, and then they take key clips and... Uh, they send them out, um, and we're going to kind of put together a whole little package for her to um, potential schools that she wants to go to, and uh, hopefully, you know, she'll get signed on and recruited. Great. You know, so. Great. So there's a lot these girls can do then to get their names out there. They can, but, you know, but with, you know, the CVSR, it's it's so much easier, you know. that That's something that I'm going to send all my girls to. 
that is look they're looking to you know head out into the college scene you know as you know sophomores juniors you know it's something you got to think about way ahead of time so um, you know to get those coaches to come out and see us you know you know online is the easiest way and they don't have to use any other contacts with right. that. Great. Well, thanks so much. And like Amanda said, you know, go online, create a free profile, get your name out there, get in touch with these college coaches. That's the way to do it. Well, thanks so much, Amanda. Well, thank you for having and me here. You're welcome and good luck this season. Will you go ahead and take us to commercial? Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with CVSR. What's up, everybody? My name is Felix Gonzalez, one of the head trainers and owners of Gene2 Fitness. Well, we believe you should come to Gene2 Fitness only with the simple fact that when you get here and you're done, you're satisfied. Gene2 Fitness is not your ordinary gym. We have rope climbs, we have sandbags, we pull cars, we flip tires, we hit sledgehammers. We do definitely the most unconventional things you could think of to get people in shape. You'll never be left alone. We'll never quit on you. We won't let you quit, more importantly. So decide, commit, and we'll help you succeed. Wireless. We fix phones and tablets. Open every day on Ashland between 41 and Fresno. I'm Maddie Ogus. And I'm Taylin Ballard. And for the best in high school sports, watch the CVSR show Sunday mornings at 9.30 a.m. Yes. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I'm now joined in the studio by one of the better players in the track in the <laughs> section all around. This is J.J. Wills from the Clovis Cougars, wide receiver, defensive back. J.J., how you doing today, man? Good. How you doing, man? I'm doing fantastic, man. Thanks for coming on the show. Been wanting to get you on for a while. We'll get to all your recruiting offers and all the schools interested in you in a minute. But first, let's talk about, about a little bit about the season and, and how you're doing, man. You're a junior now. Last year, sophomore year, broke out on the scene. Everyone kind of you know, did, what, did what you do. Everyone thought you were going to be good. But this year now, you're a junior. Uh, you're a little bit more of a leader on the team. What's been the biggest difference from last year? Just kind of the responsibility, because last year I was just kind of like a, another player on the team. I had my role and stuff, mm -hmm. but this year it's like a more of a bigger role. You know, it's like when uh, we need to, we're gonna ha there's like captains on our team, and I'm one of them, and uh, we just gotta step up and carry our team. You know, so you're right, upperclassmen, you know, more responsibility, which is huge, because your team has eight sophomores starting on the varsity level. You guys have pulled up half your JV roster. It seems like. To play on the varsity, how have those kids responded, and how have they done? How would you grade them? I would grade them as a varsity player. They they uh, when once we pulled up, you know, it was kind of sketchy. You know, it was like, oh, right. are we really gonna about to do this? Right. But when they got up there and they kind of got a feel for things, they were they're part of the team now. They were playing hard, playing fast, playing strong, playing like Cougar football. So right on, man. Uh, so yeah, you're you also double as a defensive back, but this year you haven't been playing a lot of defensive back as you did last year. Uh, has that kind of helped you to focus on your, on your game as a receiver? Have you felt like you've been able to, to take control of it and, and be a better player week in, week out? Definitely, because now I don't have to worry about the defensive calls. You know, mm -hmm. So I just fo focus on offense, focus on my routes, focus on catching the ball, and just focus on uh, all aspects of the game. Uh, now, dude, you play in the track. I mean, Awesome athletes, best in the section. I mean, you're getting covered by guys like Narua Obanor, Branson Johnson of Clovis North. Uh, you know, also guys like Darian Owens and, and and the defensive backs at Clovis West. What's it like going up against those guys every week? Well, it's it's cool because I know these guys and they're like they're my friends. So I've gone against them plenty of times. You know, mm -hmm. and now it's just like putting it into play. You know, this is the real thing. This is what uh, college coaches and uh, our coaches want to see, and it's and it's. And it is that we can go against no matter who it is, nobody right. who it is. So. Now, I mean, you've been playing with these guys for a long time when you were young. I mean, you've started how old now? At elementary school you've been playing football? Yeah, I've been playing football since I was elementary school. So right fifth on. grade, fifth, sixth grade on there. So. Right on, man. Now, okay, so there's a lot of schools interested in you, so many that I can't even name, so I'll let you do it. Name off the schools that are interested in you, and a bunch of them, pretty much the entire Pac-12, right? Almost, almost. Um, I got uh, Arizona State, Arizona, uh, Cal, Washington, Washington State, San Jose State, San Diego State. Um, I also have Fresno State um, and Colorado. 
Good grief, man. So you're only a junior. By the end of next year, your senior year, pretty much the entire country will want you. Um, I'd love to see you in a bulldog uniform, man. That's just <laughs> me at heart. Where would you like to go? Um, anywhere to take me, honestly. Um, <laughs> just I just want to get out, get out of here, um, go, co go to college, play hard. Right. That sounds all too familiar, man. Kids want to get out of here. But, mm -hmm. hey, whatever power to you, man. If someone's going to pay for your college and give you a full ride and give you playing time, man, by all means, take it. Um, glad we could have you on the show, man. That's the kids like you. Um, you know, you're going to go to college. People are going to see you. But, you know, what we try to do is get the kids that, that aren't seen. But still love having you on the show, man. Thank you for coming. A um, little bit about uh, yourself before we get out of here. Um, how's your fantasy team doing? They're struggling. <laughs> my fantasy team, honestly, is struggling. And I, all my uh, friends in my, team, on, uh, in my uh, league give me a hard time about it. But, you know, it's on the ups. Well, hey, man, I feel you. My team's struggling, too. Are you going to be one of those pro players that has a fantasy team and playing and had drafting yourself on your own team? Definitely. Definitely? Definitely be one of those people. All right. Uh, real quick, in the classroom, uh, 3.4, I think you said? Uh, this semester I have a 3.4, and overall I have a 3.2 GPA. All right, man. All your teachers got good things to say about you? Hopefully. <laughs> we'll have to go ask them. J.J. Wills from the Clovis Cougars. Man, thanks for coming on the show, man. Thanks great man. interview. Kill it the rest of the season. Have a great senior year. And do me a favor. When you do announce what school you're going to, can you please do it here on the show? Yes. Well, well, we'll get to that. We'll that would be awesome if you could. Guys, don't go anywhere. we got plenty more on the show. Be right here on the CBSR Show. search of the best and most rowdiest wow. student sections. We're out here in Lamar as they support their volleyball Tigers. Oh, Lamar, wow. how do we support our Tigers? Get loud! Yeah. There we go! There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Remember, if you think you've got the best student section, let us know! I'm Cal Johnson, your friend on Unified School Trustee. We have made tremendous progress in the last number of years. And we have built Bang Powell Elementary, Gaston Middle School. We have modernized Edison, Roosevelt, Fresno High, and Sequoia Middle School. I would appreciate your vote come November the 4th. Hello and welcome to this segment of the CBSR show, Girls Golf. The season has almost come to a conclusion. I'm standing here with a couple of Stockdale studs, senior Jessica Park, sophomore Lexi Keene, two of the better scorers at today's girls team section finals. Lexi, I'll start with you, a 75-3 over. How'd the course play and what worked well for you? Um, my tee shots were really on point and I made a lot of putts today and I didn't make a whole lot of stupid mistakes. I just kind of kept everything in play. Well, there you go. Now, Jessica, 78, good as well. What worked out for you today? Uh, my chipping and putting were really on point, and overall, just pretty good approach shots. And now, the weather is beautiful today out here at Madera Golf and Country Club, but how tough does this course play? It's pretty tough. I mean, your tee shots have to be on point, and you have to be below the flag in order to get a one putt, and so it's pretty, it's pretty tricky, but yeah. Now, Lexi, you shot an 83 here last year, so eight shots completely different. What was different over the last year than today? Um, I just feel like I've grown a lot as a player over the last year, and I've played a lot of tournaments, and I've just put myself in more pressure situations, and I've just been able to handle myself better, and I'm just relieved that I've grown as a player since last year. Right on, and you still have two more years to grow as a player, my goodness. Uh, how? Tell us a little bit about the, the Stockdale team and how you guys performed throughout the year. Um, I'm really proud of the way our team did this year because – at the beginning of the season, we didn't really know what was going to happen. We didn't really look so solid. And look at us now. I mean, we've got a bunch of great players, and we're all great friends. And I'm just really glad to be out here playing for not only my team, but especially my seniors, because this is one of their last events with us. Right on. And Jessica is one of those girls. You guys are going on to Buena Vista next week for the individuals, a course that you two have both played a lot. Yeah. How are you looking forward to that? I'm actually really excited. It's it's one of the courses that I love, and I love everything about it. So it's pretty exciting that it's Individual Valley, my last one. So. Right on. How how does this course set up for you, Lexi? Uh, in, er, Buena Vista. Yeah. 
I like Buena Vista a lot just because you never know what you're going to get, and it's different every single time. I mean, you can get a good lie or you can get a bad lie, and you just got to play everything out, and anything can happen. It's Buena Vista. Right on. Well, girls, I wish you the best of luck there. Go kill it. Represent the Valley. Stockdale, Jessica Park, and Lexi Keene. Dusk has fallen here at Madera Country Club, but that only means that the lights have shined brighter on Coach Ken Shipley and the Golden Eagles. Coach, you repeat seventh title in nine years, and you even do it without your top returning golfer, Jenna Scrivener. Just talk about the job the girls did in rebounding and, and, and stepping up and taking her place. Uh, the girls have just done an outstanding job. It's a young team. We've got two freshmen, two sophomores are starting. We've got two seniors, one of which is it's her first year of starting on varsity. And they've just embraced the opportunity. Uh, they've worked hard. They think well. They manage courses. They've got a great work ethic, and, and that makes differences for them. You talk about managing courses. This course consistently beats up girls. Um, it, it's a kind of a hard course. You need to be straight. You need to play the greens real well. What did you tell them in order to manage this course? <laughs> well, we tried to look at some positions where you want to hit and not hit. And uh, the other thing we did tell them is your scores are not going to be as low as you're used to. And, uh, and that's what they've seen. You know, to right now, I think there's two 70s on the, on the board is all. I think both the two Stockdale girls have both shot in the 70s, and that's the only, only ones who have. So it's really about where you want to be and where you don't want to be on this course. Uh, it's also not getting discouraged because some bad breaks are going to happen, and you've just got to keep that chin up and all you have is your next shot. That's right. Now, without uh, Jenna, kind of give me a grade on these girls and how well they can do down south in the team regionals at Rancho Marietta. Give us your opinion. Well, I think, that, I think they're going to do well. There are some teams in Southern California that are just outstanding. But our girls are going to go down. They're going to compete. They're going to do well. Um, exactly where they finish, I'm not sure. But uh, they'll be there, and they'll compete well. Well, Coach, i got to say, you have a really good team as well. So good luck down there, and congratulations again. Ken Shipley, Colvis West, Golden Eagles. Thank you so much. Well, that was a great show, hearing from all of the coaches and their take on recruiting. Yeah, it was awesome to hear Mason and Amanda talk about what students and athletes can do that could better themselves and take control of their recruiting. That's right. And remember, we're here to come alongside you and help you do that. CVSR is a great marketing tool to get your name out there to college coaches. Just go online to cvsrgo.com and create a free profile. And once again, thank you to all of our guests and our student section of the week, Lamore. Remember to set your DVR so you don't ever miss an episode of the show. Until next time. We're, we're out, out, Central, Central Valley. Valley.